What's up guys, it's me Alan. I am back with another video today and I got another die cast for you to do. And this is a die cast that I have been waiting to have come in the mail for a while now. This is on the uh, it was on shipment it was on the shipment report for uh, November 11th. Unfortunately got pushed back. Um, finally shipped and came in today in the mail. Uh, I got home from work earlier, done my stuff, got the mail, took a shower. Here I am. Doing this review. Well, let's just go ahead and get on with it. This is Daniel Suarez's 2020 uh, number 96 Comscope Toyota Camry for Gaunt Brothers Racing. I pre-ordered this and I'm like, I hope it gets made. I hope it gets made. And then when I heard it was getting made, I'm like, yes! We're getting a Gaunt Brothers Racing die cast. Hell yeah. Um, obviously, Daniel Suarez is no, is no longer with them. Uh, he's gone to the new uh, track house team, I believe is what you call them. Um, so, which will be the 99 car. So, it'll be pretty cool to see uh, how that goes for him. And hopefully, uh, Gaunt will find somebody to uh, run the 96 next year. But that, that, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get this diecast out of its box and get on with the review. So there's the die cast out of its box. And as you can already tell, um, the windows are kind of screwed up. And what I mean by that is, well, first of all, you got this window here, which is kind of cocked. And then you got this window here, which is kind of a bit too far in and also not exactly lined up right. Like it kind of, like kind of, but like you could get a little bit of a thumbnail in there. And then you got this window over here which is kind of popped out a bit, or not popped out a bit, but kind of flared out um, on the bottom corner. But regardless, um, still an awesome car. And uh, as we take a look here, the front end here, nice job. I gotta say, although bottom part right here is a little crooked. Yeah, the console on the hood. Um, love the design though, love the colors and whatnot. Um, it's, it's an awesome paint scheme, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, the com scope on the deck lid, which I think is a little off. Um, a little off to the right there. Yeah, a little bit of a pain a little bit of a decal issue there. And you got the roof, of course. Um, I gotta say though, again, I am just so freaking happy that this die cast got made. And one of the things I talk about a lot is or I I came up with the hashtag um, support hashtag support small team diecasts and basically what I mean by that is um, is diecasts like this so like with the cup series some of the smaller teams Gaunt Brothers Racing being one um, Rick Ware um, Go Fast I know they get diecasts made here and there of course they have the, the Scooby Doo car that got made um, along with a few others but still and then uh, obviously with a lot of teams in the Xfinity and Truck Series. Basically what I mean with small team diecast is... How should I put this? It's giving diecasts from, you know, from lesser teams in the Cup Series and, um, and just from the Xfinity and Truck Series in general, um, you know, a chance when it comes to the pre-orders and stuff like that. And... The way I see it is, I understand that uh, that there's a uh, they have to meet MOQ, uh, which is a minimum of or which is a certain quantity um, of pre-orders in order for diecast to get made. But the thing is, is that like a Chase Elliott or a Kyle Busch or a Joey Logano um, or something like that, a diecast for one of those drivers nine times out of ten is gonna get made. I mean, if it's Chase Elliott. The only Chase Elliott car that... Uh, it's been years since we've had a Chase Elliott car get DNP'd. And yes, I know the All-Star car got DNP'd, but that's the All-Star car. Not many people were going to buy those. So that technically doesn't count. Um, you know, let me know when one of his regular cars or paint schemes gets DNP'd. You know, in the future or something. 
Um, oh, <laughs> I just noticed this on the um, on the front windshield banners. Uh, the S on the Cup Series is a little scrub. The the S and the E and the R, um, but a little warped. But basically, like I, I've done reviews in the past. Like yesterday, I did the Ryan Truex review from BK Racing. I've done reviews on Rick Weir racing cars from a few years ago. Um, I mentioned in part four of my NASCAR diecast or 164 scale diecast with diecast wish list uh, videos series, um, a couple of Joey Gase cars from the yeah from the Xfinity series uh, that came out two years ago. Um, you know, j just recently I got an email that um, Jesse Little's number four scuttle tight uh, Xfinity series car uh, that got DNP'd in the 164 scale and. Um, looking at tweets from an NASCAR diecast fans, it just says 164, which means uh, if it says 164 ARC um, on the DNP list, then I think what that would mean is there's a chance that it will get put in the um, authentics line if it gets chosen for that. But if it, uh, but ARC would mean like like this with the gold series uh, when you get them in these boxes. So, uh, but if it just says 164, then that means it's DNP'd altogether. Which honestly sucks because there's a lot of cool paint schemes that get DNP'd, you know, each year. And, you know, it's cars that personally should get made. Um, the, I think the biggest example this year is uh, Alex Bowman's Patriotic car from earlier this year. That car, oh, I know a lot of friends of mine who really wanted it, uh, you know, whatever. And the, that one got DNP'd. I don't remember if it got DNP'd altogether or if it uh, only got DNP'd in the Gold Series. So it might make it to the Authentics line. Who knows? Um, but just in general, it, it just feels like, I mean, the pre-order system itself is kind of screwy. It got, I think it got changed back in 2018 and it was going good for a while. And then it's at where we're at now. But again, a Kyle Busch diecast, a Chase Elliott diecast, Joey Logano, Brad Keselowski, those guys nine times out of 10 are going to get their diecast made. And I know it takes more you know, there's more in the terms of ordering 164s than 124s because the 164s are more affordable. Um, but still. And then you have, um, you know, a guy like Denny Hamlin. Well, yeah, he's a big name in the Cup Series, but the problem is is he has barely any variation when it comes to his paint schemes. It's practically the same paint scheme every year. So, of course, some of his stuff's going to get DNP'd because of the fact that it's the same stuff every time. Um, that That's an outlier is it, from the situation. But... Uh, eventually, at some point, I'll make a full video about um, these thoughts of mine and what I would want to see. Um, I've thrown up ideas uh, with Authentics as far as having dedicated uh, Xfinity Series waves, maybe one or two or three of those. Uh, cup, one or two Truck Series waves, uh, waves dedicated to the throwbacks from Darlington, the Patriotic cars from Charlotte, uh, something like that. Um, let me know in the comments how you feel and... Um, Basically, what diecast that you wish got made that didn't? Um, I know Monster Energies. There's a whole thing there with them in terms of diecast getting made. So as far as that goes, uh, that's kind of impossible. Um, but you know, just let me know in the comments. And uh, with all that being said, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, please drop a like, subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.